Yeah. Okay. Is that it for you? Or are you still shopping? Um, yeah, I think I'm still looking. Okay, good. Yeah, right here. Okay. You want that one? The first thing I find here is this uh, old hat. It said like Broomfield Field and Courts. It looked pretty cool. I actually carried it around for most of the sale. Um, maybe I should have bought it. I think it was just a dollar, but the fat hat was kind of missing the foam inside, so it didn't, it didn't really stand up well. So I ended up leaving it because uh, I'm trying to limit my hat collection. And then here were some cool camel tumblers. Um, like Camel the Smoking Brand. I guess this guy smoked a lot of cigarettes because he had a lot of uh, commercial things you get by buying a bunch of packets. Uh, here were some jackets. I usually do like jackets, um, but these, they were kind of like windbreak-esque and um, nothing was super unique about them in my opinion, so I ended up passing on these as well. Okay, now we're in the bedroom. I was hoping to find a bunch of old vintage shirts here. Uh, turns out they were all kept separate in the, in the front of the room. I'll, I'll look uh, later in the sale. Um, the purses were actually priced pretty well, um, if you were into that. And then they had a really old um, metal detector. They want $50 for it. I don't even know if it worked, but um, you'll see it leaning against the wall here. Surely are my past already. Um, here's this cool um, mount goat figurine. The price on that I think was like 15 or 20 and so it made me kind of nervous for the rest of the sale that everything else is going to be priced pretty high, but uh, it turns out most things are priced pretty reasonably. Um, still looking at this hat and then this cool Broncos uh, thing. Pretty much if you're a Bronco fan, like you could have all the vintage stuff you ever want, like one of these estate sales. Clearly everyone has multiple Bronco items, so kind of a surplus of those unless you find something super special. So as I'm leaving here, I see this uh, Santa like cookie jar looking thing. Um, sorry, my jacket's in the way a little bit, but yeah, that thing was $10. It's pretty tempted on it. It was pretty big, and um, yeah, it would have been nice, but I'm not a big fan of Christmas decorations because you store it all year just for pretty much a month, so I kind of keep it limited. Now we're going down the basement. This was a really interesting uh, assortment of like salt and pepper shakers. Um, actually, I should have grabbed one. Um, our Aunt Laura, she collects those, so that probably would have been a nice gift. And in this room, I was shocked to see this huge hot tub. I've never seen one just in a house like this. Um, oh yeah, this hat. This is, I think, my favorite find of the day. Um, it says Santa Clara Vanguard, Shrone View of Core. Uh, it's probably a small niche of people who know that, but like, um, the odds of finding that in this house are uh, pretty unlikely. Uh, and the other hats are kind of normal, but yeah, I, I'm honestly really still shocked that he had this random uh, drum corps hat.
I was actually kind of tempted on that little music box. That was cute. It looked like a brother and sister little thing. Um, and this bed had all this uh, bedding and stuff. Maybe something's good in there, but I don't know. No one else has really gone through it, so I kind of just pass on that. Um, you see, I'm still trying on all the hats. Really want to make sure it's fitting and stuff. And <laughs> still holding on this one hat that I end up not getting. This thing looks really cool, um, but inside was like some random stuff, so I don't think it was actually the, the bird feeder, but I wish it was there. That's that's called that's we we've, we've yeah. been a shopper more than once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've never seen you guys do that. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a black a, a black heavier set guy. Uh -huh. He's super super Sean, nice. Sean, he's always I'm, at yeah, our sales. Yeah. yeah, and he I I, I recognize him. Uh -huh. I mean, we just start we're addicted. I mean, we just started doing this. It's fun, really, isn't it? It's, it's, it's so a fun. it's a scav it is fun. It's a scavenger hunt, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we're just we um, no telling what. We just play. Yeah, we just moved into a place and we furnished our entire house. Oh, I believe it. Uh, for less than like three hundred dollars. I believe it. And quality, not this oh, fucking I know. plastic. She knows she works I believe you. Me. I know. <laughs> have it's you crazy. have you stopped because it's too easy for you and your cold check is going to. <laughs> I would, I, so what's interesting in this room is apparently a lot of these shelves were just like floor to, floor to ceiling of books and one guy came in and bought every single book. Um, so there's definitely money in old books. Uh, I know people that used to scan them and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to take the time though. Oh my god, it's you! Thank you! Manners will get you anything. Um, I used to have a chair. I, I don't want that, but I used to. I'd buy that. We had just two of them that were red. We, we had one with pink. Yeah, yeah, we had one was pink. That was pink. Oh, yeah. And I just. There was a couple that we met that we wanted to steal this idea. They have a, a basement. It's called Talkable. Talkable. Talkable things. Talkable things. Like things that. Memories or something. Right. The whole basement is full of talkable things that will make conversation. Your conversation. Oh, and, and that's that's so what cool. we want to do with our yep. basement is have a bunch of stuff we find at estate sales. That, that is and I and I'm not a Bronco nut, uh, and I'm picking up Bronco stuff just to for conversation. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Today I'm, I'm looking for a, a freezer uh, and. Six glasses that match. Uh, I'm like sure that guy went from he's got a box. He's been unloading, I guess, uh, for a while. It's kind of fun to see people talk about that. Talkable room, kind of an interesting idea. Um, there's so many knickknacks you get. These six of those that feel like an easy way to fill a talkable room, whatever it is. Did you know that? No. You yourself or the company? The company. Do they? So they? So they? Do they kick stuff? Um, like, so. Let's just say this house. Yeah. And I'm not sure what this gentleman's decided to do right. with like everything that's left. They'll say we just want to go clean out and rid of it all. Right. So you know we donate a lot of stuff to like thrift stores and like that, but um try to recycle whatever. But you know like a thing of the Yeah. Where's 
put them on line, and then sometimes five days, sometimes ten. So I got super tempted with these placemats with oh, its really cool art on it. Um, I carried around you know, until the end and I ended up leaving it and uh, I always like to show Brie the pictures when I get home and see if she would have wanted them or not and I was correct on this one, she did not want these so good pass on my end but um, not bad value, a dollar for four so hopefully someone was able to get it. Are you a salesperson? Not salesperson. Do you make prices? Do you do price at all? No, do you? That would not be easy. How do you, is it just you've seen, you, you, you have common sense? Do you have Google on your phone? My wife knows what you're talking about. Uh, what is it called? You or what's it called? Lens. Lens, yeah. My <laughs> yeah. wife does. I don't mm -hmm. do that stuff. And, you know, you can bring it up and um, yeah. obviously we don't do full price, right, you know, yeah. but it kind of tells you, Rough yeah, idea. this is worth, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, sorry, how much are the mugs? If they're not pressed? Okay. And then, if they're not priced, they're a dollar. Do you know how much this, uh, like, I don't know if it's a placemats or? Great talking to you. You as well. Um, a dollar for all of them. Okay. So I thought this was cool. Uh, this is probably one that Brie wish I had passed on, but it's like from a cruise line where it's a football helmet, but you can carry beers or ice in there or something like that. Um, for a dollar, I, I couldn't resist. Um, in this room is also where I found, I guess it'll come up here, some vintage shirts. Um, I think the camera died, but I did find this cool US soccer hat that I'll show you then that was also a good find for me. So I got this shirt, and it's interesting. I don't know what era this is from, but these collars are so unique. It's like a very thin single button collar. Um, so I end up getting that shirt, and then here I find um, some single stitch. One of them's like a Foster's shirt, and also some uh, Corona tank top and some uh, other alcohol shirt. I wish these shirts weren't all alcohol based, but this guy loves cigarettes and alcohol, so. Uh, I don't know, I guess he lived a long life if this is uh, the end of it, but yeah. We're home, we'll go through our quick haul. I think my favorite find is this Santa Clara Vanguard German Buell Corps hat. Uh, let's see, it says made in China. I couldn't find anything listed on eBay, but for the right person, this would be pretty, pretty awesome for them. Um, it's like, I know this is from my high school band days. We used to watch DCI stuff, so pretty cool there. Got this US soccer hat. Thought it'd be fun for the next World Cup or, or whatever, so that was kind of a nice find. Got this mug. We kind of collect uh, different Colorado mugs for the basement uh, coffee bar. It's got a USA mark on it, which is kind of cool. So we like that. This was a random, uh, Football helmet slash, I guess, beer bucket. I thought it'd be fun for summer, just taking out drinks to everyone, put some ice in it. Uh, and then we got some vintage shirts. This, probably give it a brie or something like that, but it's a Corona tank top, uh, made in USA. I think it's, I can't tell if it's single stitch or not. Um, got this Foster's shirt. Uh, let's see, seem pretty old, so I thought I'd grab that. These were a dollar piece, so worth the risk. And this one was a, uh, this one's made in USA. So I think this is a single stitch. It says original margarita control, I guess. Um, and then I thought this was a nice shirt and it, uh, the brand said Northwest Territory. So. Thought that may, might be a nice one. 
And finally, got some of these old vintage um, lawn chairs I've been looking for for a while. They want five each, uh, she went down to three each. So, decent deal. So, hopefully this is the last weekend of estate sales and we'll be at the garage sale season, but um, yeah, not a bad day.